Hello students, welcome back to my YouTube channel and this is Sir Jugs. And now we will talk about the physical education for the first quarter. The topic for the physical education is the lifestyle and weight management, physical activity and eating habits. The following images are representing the six skills related fitness and connected to lifestyle and weight management which is we need to identify where is our weakness and where is our strength for us to identify the following sports and activities that we need in our body so let's have the first skills we have agility the agility is the ability to change and control the direction and position of the body while maintaining a constant rapid motion for example is the direction or the changing directions to hit a tennis ball okay so that is the agility another example for agility is the badminton and also the table tennis second we have balance balance is the ability to control or stabilize the body when a person is standing still or moving for example in line skating other example for a balance is the gymnastics uh, the gymnastics and also the the vikings no? vikings is also considered as a balance the third one is coordination Coordination is the ability to use the senses together with body parts during movement. For example, dribbling a basketball is considered as coordination. Using a hand and eyes together is called hand-eye coordination or what we call the juggling. Another sport that we can consider as coordination is for the basketball, the chess pass. Chess passing is also considered as coordination. Speed is the ability to move your body or parts of your body swiftly. Many sports rely on speed to gain advantage over your opponents. For example, a basketball player making a fast break to perform a layup. Another example for the speed is also the running. Next we have power. Power is the ability to move the body parts swiftly while applying the maximum force of the muscles. Power is a combination of both speed and muscular strength. For example, fullbacks and football muscling their way to other players. And what we call this image is the sports of a rugby sports. Another example for the power is the boxing. Lastly, we have the reaction time. It is the ability to reach or respond quickly to what you hear, what you see, what you feel. For example, an athlete quickly coming off the blocks early in a swimming or a track relay. So this is the example of a track relay. So track relay are considered for the reaction time. Are you physically fit? How can we tell if the person is physically fit? In what way does the level of fitness affects one's health? It is optimum level of health where healthy individuals can perform daily activities free from any form of fatigue. Physically fit individuals have the capacity to maintain and do daily tasks without experiencing stress, making it easier to meet daily demands. Physically fitness also improves not only physical health but also mental ability to cope with uncertain events or occurrences. Physically fitness helps individuals become free from any form of high-risk health conditions and these are the following Hypertension Stroke Diabetes Sleep apnea Coronary heart disease and respiratory problems the most important goal is gaining a high level of fitness, however, it is only one part. What is physical assessment? This is a series of measurements and tests that will help identify the status of one's physical fitness. A typical fitness assessment will help individuals identify their strengths and weaknesses from the components of physical fitness and then Plan which fitness program is suited for the needs of individuals. 
What are these risk factors related to lifestyle diseases? The following are the other risk factors related to lifestyle diseases like cardiovascular diseases, high blood pressure, diabetes, and cancer. We have family history of premature heart disease, cigarette smoking, alcohol use, physically inactivity, and unhelpful diet. How can you control the development of this lifestyle disease? First, we have high blood. High blood is also known as hypertension. It may increase risk of heart disease, stroke, kidney disease, and congestive heart failure. How to control the high blood? By having regular physical exercise, losing excess weight, changing eating habits, and minimizing the use of salt in food intake. High blood cholesterol, it can lead to plaque in arteries which may also cause the risk of heart attack. How to control? By engaging in some physical activities, by eating less saturated and trans fat, and by observing proper weight management. Diabetes, no matter what type, it means it have too much glucose in blood or too much glucose can lead to serious health problems. How to control by reducing calorie intake and getting regular physical exercise. How can we promote good nutrition and helpful eating habits for the weight management of an individual? Plain, mildly flavored food cooked in moderate amount of fats or oils. A glass of milk to meet the calcium, protein, and vitamin B needed daily. A good daily breakfast composed of bodybuilding, energy-giving, and regulating food. Food fortified with vitamins like vitamin A or beta-carotene and vitamin C and minerals like iron and iodine. Nutritious school snacks and lunch. What nutritional guidelines can be observed as part of healthful eating habits? Eat a variety of food every day. Maintain normal growth through proper diet and monitor growth regularly. Consume fish, lean meat, poultry, and dried beans. Eat more vegetables, fruits, and root crops. Also, eat a variety of food cooked in edible or cooking oil. Consume milk, milk products, and other food rich in calcium. Use iodized salt but avoid excessive intake of salty food. Eat clean and safe food. And do not forget to exercise regularly. Do not smoke and avoid drinking alcoholic beverages. For the closure, in our daily lives, we must value our health. We must be conscious with our health by controlling those unnecessary habits that will cause into risk. Exercise regularly to maintain and save our health and that's connected to our core values, service. And that will be all. Have a nice day.